Hello and welcome to the video companion to Steam on the Cheap, the podcast. This is episode number five where we will be going over Pivot the Game. This is a port from iOS and Android to the Steam. It was a green light project that got approved and now I'm going to review it and see if you should waste your four dollars on it or not. This game was produced by Fixpoint Productions and recently came out last week. So let's get into it. There are three different difficulty levels in this game. There's Voyage, there's Expert Voyage, and Berserk. As you can tell, I've not done Berserk yet, and it is a little daunting because Expert was horrible. The first time I played Voyage, I died 115 times before I beat it. And the first time I played Expert Voyage, I died 302 times before I beat it. Just to tell you that difficulty level and how it scales up. We are going to do a quick stroll through the regular voyage right now. And I'm just going to let you know how it kind of plays out. I'm going to explain it to you in the beginning of the video. And then I'm going to try to stay quiet for the rest of it so you can enjoy A, the awesome soundtrack, and B, just the show and the gameplay. So let's get into it. As you can tell here, you are a ball attached to a triangle attached to another little ball that's on this fixed rail. And you're going around like a roller coaster with no control over your fate. Now, you can move your little ball in one of two ways. Either you can move the left and right arrow on the keyboard, and you'll either go up or down or left or right depending on its orientation, or you can plug in your controller and you can move the analog stick left or right and it will do the same thing. Now, if you're wondering why the music changes and the graphics change, it's because there are checkpoints as you can see right here, I passed the checkpoint. What that means is that these... Oh, there's a death and this is going to help me explain to it. At the top, you see the five blue balls. That's the checkpoints I've passed. And the gray ones are the ones I still need to pass to get to the star to win. Now, every time I pass a certain obstacle on the track, there's going to be a little ball that's blinking and glowing different colors. That is... A mini checkpoint. After I do four of those in a row, I pass the, the main checkpoint, and when I die, I will not go further back than the last checkpoint completed. Now on the screen, you see the big circle. Every time I get one of these little checkpoints, it fills up. There's two, here's three, and number four, we have the music change and the graphical change. And with that death now, I went back to the same spot and I cannot start further back than that. The game would be pretty daunting if you had to start at the beginning every time. So with that, I think I'm gonna shut up for the rest of the video, let you enjoy the music and the graphics and relax, and I will talk to you again once this level is over.
And the end. 10 deaths, that's not too bad, that's my record so far. And just in case I made it look easy, I did die 115 times the first time I played that level. And my first go through on the next difficulty, 302 deaths. That one gets significantly harder. And the puzzles that you're trying to wrap your little ball around get increasingly difficult. So, as with my podcast, this is about gaming on a budget. And for a $4 game, if you're into this kind of game, I would highly suggest you pick it up. It's a lot of fun, and it's visually stimulating, and the music's good. If this is not your kind of game, or if you're only mildly interested in it, I would say save your money and pick up something else, because you're not going to put enough time into this kind of game that you're going to get your money's worth, especially if you are gaming on a budget. So, thank you for watching this video. If you want to get a hold of me, you can send me an email at epicgeekcast at gmail.com and suggest any games, or you can leave comments below. And I'll play any game you want so that you don't have to waste your money before you can tell if it's good or not. You can also tweet me at John Nesmith or at Epic Geekcast. And since you're on Steam, don't be afraid to friend me. My name is, of course, Epic Geekcast on Steam. So, have a good week, and we will see you next time. Bye.